Uh, my name is Steve Murdoch. I am the official state demographer of Texas. It'd be hard to be a demographer and not like numbers. Maybe it'd be a little bit like being an accountant and not liking numbers. I was probably uh, strongest in athletics in high school, but you know I was never big enough nor fast enough, so I knew I better find something I could make a living at. Uh, I had a very exciting graduate professor who uh, turned me on to demographics, what they meant, uh, what they meant for our growing world. Demographics is really the study of population size, distribution, and composition. The base of society is people. And so demographics is really basic to the very analysis of society and everything related to it. It really means what's happening to our population, how is it growing, where is it growing, is it getting younger, is it getting older, is it getting more or less diverse. But what we try to do with the numbers is not just to find out what they are, uh, but what they mean. Certainly demographics tell us the levels of education that people have. Demographics are key to understanding health. And infant mortality uh, helps us uh, really sort out countries that do very well in healthcare and countries that don't do so well in healthcare. The very reason we have a census is for political representation. In Texas, we've been growing very, very rapidly. Uh, we added four million people uh, in the 1990s, two million in this post-2000 period of time. It's roughly equivalent to having added the number of people who in 1990 lived in the city of Houston, plus the number that lived in the city of Dallas, plus the number that lived in, in the city of San Antonio in a single decade. And these are three of the 10 largest cities in the country. It has been increasingly concentrated in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, the Houston-Galveston area, the San Antonio to Austin corridor, and the area along the Texas and Mexico border, basically from Laredo down to Brownsville and McAllen. These parts of the state have been the fastest growing for 25 years. Nearly one of every eight persons added to the U.S. population was added in Texas. You know, growth is a double-edged sword. In the one sense, it, it produces jobs, it produces uh, certainly growing markets for all kinds of goods and services. At the same time, taxes infrastructure. It taxes transportation, it taxes water supplies and, and basic uh, public services. And so as we change our population, we'll change the very socioeconomic structure. Texas is in very many ways a preview of the country. If you can get it right in Texas, you're prepared for the future of the United States. Mm -hmm.